What are the key points from your presentation? I would say from a Canadian perspective, um, the, the three most important um, elements of the Canadian model um, uh, in terms of the relationship between uh, civil society and uh, governments is the relationship with um, the settlement agencies in Canada is, is based on a relationship of mutual trust and respect, which has taken um, some time to develop to this level of maturity. Secondly, that it is a model of cooperation and co-planning now, very important, which also uh, uh, needs to be built in, in, on that uh, trust and respect. And finally, um, more recently, um, the, the need for stable funding over multiple years is a very important uh, prerequisite now. And how does your work with civil society support the vision that you have in Canada for a whole society approach to settlement and integration? In Canada, our whole of society approach to settlement and integration is based on the fact that we expect all the players in the country, um, federal, provincial, municipal governments, um, our um, network of more than 500 settlement agencies across the country, uh, the private sector, as well as citizens themselves, um, to all play a role in settling and integrating newcomers. But I must underscore that the, the role of the settlement agencies, because they deliver um, more than $1.2 billion in federal funding and millions of dollars in provincial funding, as well as support municipal efforts as the key delivery vehicle, are perhaps the most important component of uh, our settlement and integration model.